Hey guys, it's Sheree and oh my word, today has gone crazy and we're going to make some kind of concoction with some leftover beans that I have from New Year's Day and it was totally not what I planned today. So this, I'm calling this everything but the kitchen sink soup. So here we go. Y'all tell me what else you would add to it and happy New Year 2024 is going to be amazing. Um, I'm so excited. It's starting off a little weird. We've had a lot of sickness. I'm sure y'all have too. I heard every, I mean, everybody I know had sickness all through Christmas. Let me know, did everyone stay well in your family? Because they sure did not. It was like they were dropping like flies in my family. But everybody is on the mend. So, good morning, good morning. It may be afternoon for some of y'all. Hey, Jonet, so good to see you. All righty. I've got carrots, I have celery, I have uh, some potatoes, onion, leftover ham from Christmas, and a pot of great northern beans. They were so good, and I put the steam on my cornbread last night. I'm just going to brag on myself. It was so good. It was so good. Um, so, I was going to make Capri uh skillet chicken, uh, or chicken skillet from the locale plan this morning, but... Got my chicken out and it was a little freezer burn and it smelled weird. So that didn't happen. So here we go. We're doing um, we're doing soup instead. So maybe I'll have this tomorrow. I've got some other chicken thawing. I told my husband we gotta go through our freezer because we're not using stuff up or something. Uh, Linda, oh I'm so glad y'all have felt great. Uh, John has said you've been sick over the weekend. You're coughing today. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry. I think I've got a sinus infection actually. I think I'm going to do a virtual doctor appointment. Um, we've had, my grandson had RSV, my daughter's got COVID, my brother's got COVID, like a bunch of their extended families got COVID, other families got, y'all, it's just everywhere. It's everywhere, but nothing too major, so. Um, hey, Teresa, happy new year from Cary, North Carolina. I love that, I love it. All right, so, woo, that was loud. Here are my leftover, y'all, this looks kind of nasty. Honestly, we just left this in the pot last night, not gonna lie. I should have heated that up. Let me heat that up while I'm talking. That's probably a good idea. Just so it won't be congealed or whatnot. I didn't think about that, but I kind of feel like I let my beans cook too long. Uh, my husband was like, don't those cook all day? I'm like, well, the instructions say like an hour and a half to two hours. So I think they kind of got mush. So we're gonna go with pureed bean soup with vegetables in it. Um, oh goodness, Cindy, y'all had stomach issues. Oh, that is not fun. Oh, y'all, I had food poison a few weeks ago. Mm -mm -mm. No, no fun. Happy New Year's, Teresa. It's so good to see y'all. Y'all really just want to sit here and chat. I feel like we've been in this bubble at home with illnesses and just in that whole Christmas slumber. I don't know. So today, I'm like, i got to snap out of it. I've got work to do. I've got deadlines to meet. So, I don't know. So, what do y'all add to your ham and bean soup? Uh, Carolyn said, best favorite time of the year. Cleaning, taking all the decorations down and cleaning. Oh, cleansing, uh, pouring. Cleansing? Maybe even pouring stuff, purging stuff. I don't know. Purging. Yes, purging. Um, I have all my decorations down. Thank the good Lord. I've pretty much vacuumed everything, but I still kind of have a mess. Like we got behind on laundry. I've got a whole pile of laundry in here. If y'all can see, I'm not going to show y'all, but there's still a few piles of things that I'm working on. All right. <clears throat> Without further ado, let us work on the soup. Y'all tell me what else you would add. Teresa said spinach or kale. I don't have either of those. So I'm going to start, we're going to do some chopping. So I'm going to put y'all down and y'all can watch me chop and I will, uh, I'll get it where I can see y'all's, um, I can see y'all chatting with me, but y'all can see me chopping, if that makes sense. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. Y'all, it's a little bit late. I'm on Central Time. It's 1045. I was all set to come on about 8.30 with my whole chicken, Caprice chicken. Oh, gosh. Oh, that made it. Sorry, y'all. And that made it my connection get weird. He's probably going to try again because he has no idea that I 
uh, had all these issues this morning. So I need a knife. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is chop an onion because I know I'm gonna add an onion to this faux show. So let's do that. Oh y'all, now this onion's looking funky. What in the world? Let's see if we can chop, chop the funkiness out of it. Oh, it's slimy. Alrighty, y'all, okay. <laughs> I have one more onion, let me go grab it. Mercy. Okay, here is what I feel like um, is we have eat, been eating leftovers and that whole Christmas thing, I'm just gonna throw this over here. And our food has, has gone to waste because, or you know, like gone bad. So, good grief. All right, I've got another onion. I feel like this one's good. I remember buying this right before Christmas. So, is this happening to y'all? Like I, this is terrible. I, I don't think I planned well because I had things that we have not used and I hate food waste like that. That'll about drive me crazy. So this is killing me. We even had lunch meat go bad. That never, ever happens here. But my husband last night was like making his lunch because he had to go back to work. He is blessed. He had the whole week between Christmas Eve and New Year's off with his job. And so he's, you know, we've just been eating, I mean, we've been eating crappy stuff. I'm just gonna say it. Well, we haven't been done too bad, but we made some salads and some fresh stuff. So after this, I am following the low cow plan for sure, it's part of our, or it is the whole January menu. Oh goodness, this stuff's boiling. Turn that off. Y'all, I should have put my microphone on. Hold on, I'm gonna try to talk loud. Oh dear, what in the world? Okay, this stuff probably, this stuff probably stuck. I think I'm gonna need to add some water. Can y'all see this? I mean, honestly, these beans are like, it's like porridge, but we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And put it back on the stove. It just, it needs to like, I need some liquid. It needs to liquefy a little bit. So, let me see what y'all are saying. Um, oh, there y'all can see better. Oh, look, look at my flowers. Those are my markdown flowers from Kroger. Uh, Linda said, add some chicken broth. Yes. I thought about adding chicken broth. I think I've got, I know I've got some. I wonder if I have part of one. I don't think I do in my fridge. I think I did use that for my dressing. So at least I didn't let that go to waste. All right. Sorry. This is the slowest onion cutting ever. So that's cut. Now, I'm afraid to open my celery, y'all. This is embarrassing. And my carrots. Like, honestly, there could anything I open is fair game for weirdness. My celery was already kind of weird um, before. It's crunchy, but it just looks ugly. But I think it's fine. I'm going to pull out some that look better. That one's not bad. And maybe that one. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and wash these really good. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Ooh, I got dirt on the cutting board. What in the world? I should have definitely, definitely put my um, microphone on today. But it's too late now, so I'll, maybe I can take y'all with me next time I go to the sink. Okay, we're just gonna pop off all these ends. I think I got all the dirt off. It's a dirty, dirty celery. Oof. Okay. 
Here we go. So let me see what else y'all. Linda said celery has been terrible in the stores. Okay, well that is good to know because I was like, what has happened? And I think it was a Walmart like delivery type thing or pickup. So I didn't pick it out, but let's, let's get to chopping. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping that my carrots are good. Surely, surely to goodness, the carrots are good. All right, let's see if I can just knock all this out in one big chopping swoop. You know what, I actually own one of those, um, I don't know what you call them. It's like, it looks like a scraper thing, but you can pick up vegetables. Lord, Lord knows where it is. But that would be very helpful about now. Actually, I think I may know where it is. I'm gonna go look if y'all don't care. these. I call it a food scooper. Good morning, Lisa. It's good to see you. Jenny, I am making um, some kind of concoction with leftover white beans. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to call it, well, ham and like white bean soup, I guess. All right, I'm gonna put my beans over here. They're definitely gonna have to heat up more, not be so congealed up in here. But we're gonna start throwing this stuff in here. And I'm gonna use my handy dandy scooper because this is perfect for this. We're just going with what we got. It's basically what we're doing. This would be a great thing for a no spin um, January situation, if y'all are participating in that. I know I've been seeing a bunch of people online doing that. I also have my ham that my husband did cut this up for me last night. And I'm just going for it. I'm going to leave these in big chunks. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I may, uh, I may change my mind on that. I'm not, I was going to go ahead and put that in, but I don't think I am. Let's do our carrots next. Let's see what kind of condition, if we have any rotting carrots in here. These are big, oh my gosh, y'all. This is a big honking carrot. Like, seriously. Seriously big. And do y'all know, you do not have to peel carrots. Like, that is like the best information that I learned from the Pioneer Woman. It makes it more rustic. So we definitely need to wash these. I also have these, but I'm a little nervous. These, these look, oh, you can't see them. Um, I don't know, I'm afraid those might be slimy. I'm not gonna go with those. Okay, I'm gonna take y'all over to the sink. I'll let y'all go to the sink with me and see my mess over here. We're gonna scrub these really, really good. This way y'all can hear me. We're gonna give them some scrubbing and some loving because I do not want to peel them. I am going to have to peel my potato though. Hope y'all can hear me. Yeah, I think my daughter bought these carrots. She likes to make this carrot, like roasted tomato, carrot, chicken, Parmesan soup. It's really, really good. It's kind of involved, so I don't ever make them. Yeah, these are kind of slimy at the top, but Y'all, this is huge. I don't think, I don't know if y'all can appreciate how thick that carrot is. It's ginormous. Ginormous. I missed y'all. It has been a minute before or since I've been on. Alrighty. Yeah, look at that. That looks great. But my kitchen sink is clean. I cleaned it yesterday. Ooh, I need to get my planner out so I can mark that off. Started the new year off cleaning my sink. Okay, here we go. We are going for it with these big carrots. We're not gonna peel them. 
and I have no guilt over not filling them. That looks weird though. And that looks weird too. Let's scrape that off. That looks a little weird. There we go. That's the benefit of having a very, very sharp knife. Pastry scraper. Is that what that's called? Good morning, Diane. It's so good to see you. Mary said you love my cooking. Listen, y'all, I am it it's 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 what it is. My cooking is you never know. I know what I'm doing, but I swear you get on Facebook Live and you have no control. Things happen. I do not want to cut myself. And we just go with it. I could throw all this in my crock pot. I thought about it, but then I was like, this pan is already dirty, and so I'm just going for it with cooking it on the stove. But I didn't want to try to do this over by my stove because I have a limited limited space over there. So we're doing it over here, and I'm hoping I don't cut myself. Rawr. But I seriously uh, do hope that everyone had a very, very Merry Christmas and got to spend time with people you love. And I'll also um, hope that everyone has stayed well. Or if you haven't, that it's been mild. Y'all know that I'm working on a one dish dinner set that will come out in 2026. No, wait, no, that's not right. 2025. Woo, I was two years ahead. Mercy. So, we are on a crunch because we have something special planned. I don't know if it's a secret, so I guess I better not say. But y'all are going to be so excited when new plans come out because there's going to be something different about them. So, my deadline got moved up like by several months. So, we are on a crunch the next two weeks to get all these recipes typed in. And honestly, I think I'm still a few recipes short. So... I've got to um, figure that out. Y'all, this carrot is so big. Mercy, I'm afraid that it's so thick. I can't. Dear. Okay. I'm trying to speed things up. However, this is a very, very sharp knife. So can't go that fast, especially trying to cut them in two. But I am excited that I'm using my, my fancy scooper over here because I forget about it. Rachel Ray would be so proud that I'm using that. I think that's actually a Rachel Ray product. Woo! This is giving me a workout. Okay, I think I have one more thing to chop. Potato. Y'all, it's a lot of carrots, so this is going to be good. I may be able to actually freeze some of this. Can y'all see? We'll pour, pour it in my soup here. There we go. That's going to give it some beautiful color. Oh, yeah. This is, I'm, I'm happy I'm using my scooper. Okay, should I put a potato in there? This is so thick. Um, I am, Vicki, this is a white bean and ham soup. I'm going to hold off on my potato. I, usually, I will add a potato to kind of thicken it. However, I'm kind of feeling like it doesn't need it. What do y'all think? Potato or no potato? You can put a, a damp paper towel under your cutting board and it will not move around. I know that. I know. And I never do it. I never do it. Like, I get on here and I... I don't do things that I need to do. I'm adding water. I think it'll be fine. It has a lot of flavor. I cooked it with a ham bone last night and oh my goodness, it was so good. Mary said, no, no potato. Yeah, I don't think. Debbie said one potato. Y'all, the potatoes I have are huge. 
I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna skip the potato. I feel like it doesn't it doesn't quite need it this time because as you can see, can y'all see that? It's it's pretty mush. Pretty mush, and I don't think it needs it for filling or anything. And this honestly, last night I was like, Russ, this is pretty soupy. Um, but those beans soaked up that water last night. Um, potatoes always a great add. Yes, any ham bone broth left to use. Well, the ham bone broth is actually in there. So, okay, let's let's check on this. Let's see how good a job my husband did on chopping this up. He did amazing. Like he took it off the bone and all that stuff. But I feel like they're a little bigger chunks than we want, and he will appreciate that because he doesn't like big honking chunks. So. I'm just going to chop it a little finer and still think about my potato. Y'all keep weighing in on my potato option. I may add it. I feel like this is like, I just need to just do it like this. Can y'all see? Y'all can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just giving this a little chop. I feel like this ham is too. Also, it will break down as it cooks because that's what happened last night with my hand bone, but I think it'll be better if we just have smaller chunks. <clears throat> okay, now I do need to make my Caprice chicken skillet though this week. And I printed out our January calendar and it is like on the other side of the house on my printer. I was gonna show that to y'all and I totally left it over there and forgot it. So problem probably could not hurt with the potato. No, the potato definitely will not hurt it. I may add one. You know, they always tell you to add a potato to the pot. All right, let me let me get a potato. Where did my potatoes go? Here they are. These are big though. I'm gonna get a small one. These are jumbo russets. We did a baked potato bar one night during Christmas when all my family was here. And, um, oh, this one's not too big. All right, let's go over here. We're gonna go back to my sink that has all the scraps in it. And we're gonna peel this potato. Okay, here's what we did for our baked potato bar. My brother smoked a pork butt. He is an amazing smoker, um, literally. And then he shredded it up. He reheated it. On, he did that in Arkansas before he came. We reheated it on our smoker. And then I did, I think I had 18 baked potatoes. And then we did cheese, sour cream. Um, we had some green onions, butter, of course, salt, pepper. And then this was fun because we live in Alabama where white sauce, barbecue sauce, reign supreme. We had white barbecue sauce, we had sweet baby rays. And then, because my brother is such the barbecue-ist, uh, he had made a homemade sweet and spicy sauce, uh, just regular barbecue sauce, but then he had made this mustard, I think he called it a North Carolina barbecue sauce, that it was so good. So then we had all the different sauces for people to add to their baked potatoes. And it was perfect, y'all. It was low stress. I was not in the kitchen, um, you know, all day trying to make a meal for 18 people. And so that may become a tradition because that was easy, especially because my brother made the meat. Just saying. And... Um, I, I liked it. It was great. And it met all the requirements because we have a gluten-free and then my other daughter is on a low FODMAP diet. And so she's also gluten-free. So y'all looky, there's my potato. Yeah, I think, I think I usually do add a potato to this. So cannot go wrong with that. So I think that's it. I may add a bit more water or some chicken broth, but I'll just let that cook. Uh, it'll probably be done in like an hour. So I may just go ahead and pop this back in the refrigerator until we are 
ready tonight because that, I don't want it to cook all day and be like major mush. But y'all, does that look good? That, I think this is going to be fantastic. Oh, you know what? Let me show y'all my cornbread from last night. Let me find it. What did I do with it? Oh, hold on. Alrighty, so this was made in my cast iron skillet back. First of all, before I show y'all this, let me show y'all my cast iron. Do y'all know about cast iron? My daughter-in-law is, um, hey Becca, if you're watching, she and my son, Caleb, were like, that cast iron is like on point because it's so smooth, but it is so old. Like my mom, it was passed down t from my mom years and years ago. And I don't know what the brand is. There's no markings on it or anything, but it makes the best cornbread. And so I got the good crunch on the cornbread and, but moist in the middle, y'all. So we have this left over tonight. So this actually worked out well. The cornbread's not stale yet. We'll reheat it. Uh, we'll have it with our ham and bean soup. And it's actually cold here in Alabama today. So that's it. Everything but the kitchen sink, ham and bean. <laughs> soup. So, Caprice Chicken Skillet will wait till tomorrow. Um, if y'all are interested, we do have, I think these are still on sale today, y'all. The locale meals. Here's the Caprice Chicken Skillet I was going to make. Um, we will be using locale weeks one through five, I think, for January. So, you'll want to check it out. And y'all have an amazing day, and we will uh, see y'all later. Uh, Debbie said, add some garlic. Oh, that's a good idea. You know what? Hmm. Okay, let me go get some garlic. Let me do that. garlic. I can't find it. It's not in its normal spot. And can y'all hear me shuffling? I have my slipper on and I'm just shuffling away, but I'm going to add some garlic to that if I can find it. So, uh, y'all have a wonderful day. Happy new year, everybody. We'll see y'all there. Bye.